something really random happened and it was like the accidents really happened but i remember we were waiting for those mri um, mri results because that was his brain and that was the biggest thing like does he have a brain brain damage or brain injury or whatever I remember we was praying so hard for that. And I remember when we got the MRI, I remember like, we was like, okay, this doctor coming. Cause we know rounds was every day at 9 PM. So I remember it was like, I was so scared. Like, you know how it is. Like when you get your test results, like if you take a big test or something, you get results. It's like, you get this anxious feeling. I remember I went in the room and I was like, you know, my mama, I think the doctor ended up telling my mama first before me. And my mama was going to tell me. And I remember, he was like, he wanted to know so bad, but I think when it was time to like get the results, he was like a little bit like, I don't want to say afraid. So I remember she told me and it was good, but he did have some brain damage, but it was nowhere near severe as what it could have or should have been based off like what we went through with that pool. And then he had like pneumonia and just like some like infections in his blood. It was just so much stuff wrong, but it was still better than what it could have been, which is like, I can't say that it's anybody but God. Still to this day, like how, how, how? Yeah. I didn't want to say how is he not, cause I don't want to say that, but still it's like how? And it doesn't make sense. Even with, like he said, the trach, my baby had this mask on his face and I remember we was going to take it off. He was going to take it off because he wanted to trach him. He had surgery the next day and I was like, no, we're going to keep it on for one night. We'll take it off tomorrow. He got surgery tomorrow. We'll, we'll do that. But I remember that night I laid in the bed with him and I just had laid my hand on his chest and I said, I said, um, open up the airway, Yahweh, Yahweh. I was like, everything open up everything clear his airway and then next morning i was kind of afraid and i was scared so i remember i went out because i remember throughout this process at first i wasn't going to film any of it but i remember god i was in that hospital i was making coffee one morning and god was like start filming and i'm like what i remember just hearing god talk to me but i remember he said start filming so i was filming throughout this process but i didn't understand why so I remember when I went out and I filmed the video and I was like, man, you know, he got to get surgery today. I'm still trying to have faith. I remember this scripture stood out to me. Um, I don't know the exact scripture, but I know it. Um, it's a story. I can't remember the exact story at the moment because my head is just like everywhere. But I know I just kept saying like, God, I believe but help me with my unbelief. Because, you know, you try to believe, you say you believe. But then there's times where that doubt will just creep in. So with this surgery, with this trach, I was like, God, I believe, but you help me with my unbelief. You know, help me where I'm weak. And um, I remember I came back in that room, I made a little video and I told told my, you know, supporters, I'm like, we just still try to believe. He got like 30 minutes before he go to surgery, but I'm still believing. And I went in that room and Truth's hands was like this, over the mask. And he was like, pull and I was like, Truth, stop. Then I was like, man, let's tell the nurses take it off of him because he's about to go to surgery anyway. And I remember we took your mask off and it was gone. It was all gone. Yeah. The strata was gone. I mean, it was gone. This big, yeah. loud, creepy, weird noise. He was like, oh, we don't hear it. That his airway was restricted. Silly. It was gone. In one day. In one day, overnight. <laughs> I prayed all night. It was gone the next day. And I remember the ENT doctor came and he's like, What's going on here? This, yeah. He was like, they was pushing for it for sure. He's like, what happened from last night to this morning? I said prayer. He said, yeah, that. But yeah. still, this doesn't make sense. I'm like, don't make it sense. It ain't science, but it's not this supposed is to make creative. sense because it's God. <laughs> and then the mean. next day, I kind of was upset a little bit about that. But then the next day, he came in and he said, hmm, this is good. This is good. And True never had to get a track. Yeah. So, yeah, like, God literally have been putting his hand, hand right on, on truth, the situation sure. the whole time. 
Uh, we th- like I said, it was been a lot more. I remember he neurostormed. Yeah, neurostorm was crazy. It was very scary. If y'all don't know what that is, y'all it's like know. a thing where your brain. He's in a fire. Look it up, but it's it's where your brain is like, like trying to pattern like so if you like lost I guess all your functions, it's trying to like get things. So he'll like yo he'll be sitting there and he'll be chilling, and then he go like this. Your His like whole is- body just lock up like. Fight or flight response. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's so scary, though. It's so scary because he's crying like, ah, like, not like that loud, but it's like, nah, he's, he's like, but you know he just hurting so bad. This one for like a week. That one, he did that for like a week. Yeah, he was doing it for a long time. That was so, it was scary. He was biting his tongue. Oh, yeah, and his teeth. His he, tongue, like, he bit his tongue off, matter of fact. He was, he, yeah, he bit through his tongue. Yeah. And and, and, and and like his teeth, he was grinding his teeth because he go, you could just hear it go. It would hear it like crack. Yeah, it's like crack, man. I'm like, oh my god. He gosh. bit right through his tongue multiple times. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell him the story. What's the story? Boom. Let me tell you some crazy stuff. So I'm in the car. Now, I don't know if I should go this deep, though. What nah, I ain't go that deep. When my hand was doing that, remember I told you? No, that might be too deep, though. Go to it. Go to it. You show? Sure? We've heard her a lot. We need to hear more of how you were testing spiritually. And yeah. Things that you were going through. I mean, I ain't gonna even say, like, uh. God showed you something. So, yes. That's yeah, yeah. So, so as he was neurostorming, I remember being in a car and, like, <laughs> I was chilling out in the whip by myself, praying to the Creator, you know what I'm saying? Under the stars. So, my hand gets to, like, throb and it's like, doing like that you see that's doing that and then it start like going like this and then it kind of like go like this and it start locking up and it just started going like this you feel me and i'm like what the hell you know what i'm saying like what's going on with my hand but then like as it was doing this it did this for like i swear this is happening for like 10 minutes my hand just like doing some crazy shit like on its own like i can't even control it it was like uncontrollable but then I got so like, like, what is it called? Like, whatever that emotion is. Epiphany? Whatever that emotion I just did was. Because I was like, yo, this is a sign of true neurostorming. Like, it's uncontrollable. What he's going through. But like, when it settled out, I feel like God was like, I got you. Like, whenever my hand stopped, it was like, he going through this. I, Cause I felt like my hand was true. Like I feel, I felt, and that could felt be true. Like, true like twin, what you call them? Like I felt like I wouldn't say like I was locking up, but like I felt like I, it's like I felt him. And when it smoothed out, I feel like that was just like the creator. Like it's gonna take some time, but I got you. You feel me? And that was like one of the most like. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to feel that, like, that connection. Because I was one-on-one. I was Uno with the creator. You feel me? I was Uno. So it was just, like, to feel that, like, it just, it just, man. That's why my faith is so high on everything. And like I said, I already done spoken into existence, too, just, though. Like, uh, just about him just being okay. Like, and if you already spoken into it in advance, you know, like, that's been my thing, like, like we didn't make we ain't make it this far to make it this far we gonna keep going so yeah i remember thinking that yeah like, at times like god wouldn't have put put brought me this far if he wasn't gonna continue to carry me so i remember yeah. that feeling um this like like i said before them doctors wasn't lying when they said like we was gonna be in this situation for the long haul yeah and it's pretty because like, how far are we in now we're about shoot, four months i don't know we we went from there, like I said, St. Francis. We went from the neurostorming stage, the flight or flight response, to then we got a, had to go to a, a rehabilitation center for a brain injury response program. And we had to be inpatient there for like four months. So April, we was in the hospital from the end of April, St. Francis to May, and all the way from May to August 27th. We were in Bethany Children's Health Center where True, for the first week, two weeks, he would just still sleep. 
medicated. When he woke up, the eyes wasn't tracking, couldn't even move his eyes left and right. He couldn't move a muscle. His hands and his whole body was like stiff and locked. And honestly, it's been so many changes since then, but like that place, like we definitely, I'm glad we went because he couldn't do nothing. He couldn't talk, he cannot, he couldn't eat. He still can't, but we're working on it. We, we have the opportunity yeah. to do things and mm -hmm. learn things over, but he did get restart. He did have to, our child has to relearn yeah. how to do everything from standing, walking, talking, eating, motor fine skills, motor skills, yeah. gross motor skills, um, Everything. 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 Like, <laughs> everything. everything. So, yeah, when we first got there, he wasn't able to do nothing. He couldn't even really move his eyes. But as the time went on, and as he began to go to therapies, which he had, like, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and, um, yeah, speech is like feeding and speech. But, like, he did, like, a lot of that. He had music. As he would play with those toys week by week, at the, the first few weeks, we didn't see no no changes, yeah. but as the next month came around, we would see start to see major changes. Yeah. And he had to like it's just like having a newborn baby again, almost. Just like a reset. It's like he yeah. had to learn how to like hold his head up again. He had to learn how to. Right now, he's still trying to sit up, but yeah. he had to learn. It's so much stuff that he had to learn how to do, even just honestly. Reaching out and get trying to Opening get Opening his hand yeah. was a whole milestone. Yeah. Closing it, picking up an item, everything, like all these milestones, like all these things. And I ain't gonna lie, like it was hard at first for me because when he finally kind of became a little bit of more aware of his circumstance, I'm so used to my son being filled with like life and being so happy. And I remember I would tell him like, true, you're getting better and better. Cause we would say that all the time. We started like, we would profess that even when we were at the other hospitals, like better and better and better. better. Mm -hmm. That's what we say every day, better and better and better. Anytime a doctor would say some crap that we didn't want to hear, nope, better and better and better. So I remember when he first got a little bit conscious, I was like, Trusky, you're getting better, you're getting better. And he was like, and for me as a mom, that was very hard for me to have to, like, I don't even know what it was. Like, I didn't like seeing my son be down like that and depressed. As a one-year-old, you already were, like, he was accepting, like, he was being pessim like pessimistic in a sense. And I never seen him have that. He's always been optimistic. He's always been full of life. So as a mom, it was hard for me because my child is, he's aware, like, mom, do you not see that I can't lift my leg? Do you not see that I can't do this? And I had to like say, no, you are getting better. You are. But that was like one of the hardest parts at the beginning of that is because like he really, he really wasn't like believing at first himself as a child. And for a child to be like, I can't do it. And he know like, I, I, I'm done, mom. Like, I can't even stand. I can't even lift my arms up. That was really hard for me. Yeah. But I had to just, you know, like, suck it up and be his mom and, like, motivate him. Yeah. And that's just, like I say, what I'm doing in that, in that situation has just been more of, like, because he got the doctors coming in and doing, like, the physical therapies and stuff. I'm just trying to make sure he got a smile on his face. You know yeah. what I mean? And just being his pops like I say shoot doing the extra little therapies like you know if they you know when it's therapy over a little later in the night you know doing some therapies and stuff like that just trying to keep him like you say as happy as possible because he's in a room luckily we had this that LG TV you know what I'm saying you know everybody don't got those we had this portable, yeah. <laughs> the affordable TV that was like the, the, one of the best parts of his day was yeah. to finally be able to enjoy TV but yeah that, that stay that four month stay was 
really hard. Yeah. But we are here now, and we're thankful for that because honestly, if we wouldn't have went, shoot, they don't no, tell yeah, them. Yeah. We wouldn't because that that place, like I say, it. Bethany. I don't think I've been um, kind of like walking, looking around now. I don't think it's a place like it here. So. Like yeah. I said, I want to give a big shout out to Bethany too. And like all that care up providers too, if any of y'all see this. Oh, they said they want to see the video. So like you said, we love y'all. Shout out to them. Thank y'all for taking care of him for sure. Shout out to, I got some specific nurses, but they did take really good care of us. And yeah. they really knew what they were doing. Um, they really got true to a good place. And we got to take them home on the 27th. And yeah. We are here now. Yeah. We've only been home for like <laughs> one week. One week. But... Yeah. Like I said, honestly, I think it's just a blessing in God. Like I said, he's been in the midst this whole time because it's just a, a blessing and a miracle for one, for our son to be able to be alive. For two, for him to have like not so much of a brain injury as he could have. So a mild one. And for three, like he's able to relearn. It's, he's not paralyzed. He's, he, he wasn't brain dead. He's still himself. His personality is the same. He's still very much aware of who we are, his memories intact. Yeah. And he's able to still continue on right now. Um, we got therapy tomorrow. Like you see, like, like I said, um, true, like you say, he is a warrior. He came from, like you say, not being able to do anything, any movement of the arms, legs, like you say now. Okay. Uh, in that Bethany moment, like you say, he started doing a lot more kicking. You know, he'd be kicking his legs. Uh, then you started seeing him. He wasn't able to, like, rock back and forth, so he would just be, like, kind of like this. Then he started getting enough strength where he can, you he know what I mean, to, to roll over. You know, he still, but see, he still, like, got problems with, uh, lifting his, uh, thing up right now because he's still trying to get up. He, he got, he getting to here, but he ain't able to, like, Push off his Yeah, head. so yeah. We're we trying to get him So we can just You know But right now He just getting the hair And then he kind of Just like rolling But you didn't see nothing. Like you, if you remember From The Hillcrest uh, Part Not Hillcrest What am I talking St. about? St. Francis St. Francis Like When he wasn't doing anything And just when When he was able to do that It was just like You know Insane. Yeah. So he's able to do a lot more. He's able now. to play with toys. Eat. I, mean, I eat a little bit. Like grasp whatever he wants to get. He's going to get to where he needs to go. Whether he's going to scoop, roll, yeah. whatever. He sits up on his own. And what I love about him is he's the same. He literally, if I grab him right now, if if he he would like, you know how like kids be like. Like trying this, to get down. He yeah. would like he I, he thinks in his mind he's ready to go. He yeah. I could literally if he was like I just let him go he would just fall he wouldn't even care he'd probably be like I'm gonna try at least I love him because he's he don't stop he's gonna try like truthfully that's the nerve wracking part for me because then it's he also still doesn't a have the conscious of the fact that he can't yeah. do some things but that's what I love about him also like he's yeah, saying he's you, like. He's, you can't tell him he's not yeah, going to do that. because he a try. Because he's going to do it. <laughs> he a try. So we love like, that he has that fighting yeah. spirit. And honestly, I feel blessed that God gave me a child that was so strong throughout this whole situation. Because, too, like you say, he could have gave up. He could Don't get it twisted. From the very moment. Because if you look at that's moment. what I'm saying, the first moment. He could have said, oh, yeah, I'm not. And I'm, I'm, I'm gone. And I think about that sometimes, like, if he, did he He's drift strong. off and go to heaven and then just come back for me because he knew I was going to be okay? <laughs> or God said, no, nah, turn around, go back because your mama, like, your mama not going to be okay. Yeah. She needs you. Nah, your daddy wouldn't have been all right, boy. Mm, we all would have been not yeah. okay. I thought about that's the, that. That's the creator blessed us. Like I said, I think about that, too. Like, you say, even if we're going we gonna to stay deep. I ain't going to lie. Just, uh... Like, cause sometimes like I'd be like, like I say, change my whole life. I, I said that multiple times throughout of this because it's like, I was like, for example, I was irritated to take somebody home the other day, but then I looked at it and said, you know what? I'm so grateful to be able to take this person home. Like mm -hmm. the simplest, smallest shit is like oh, yeah. the biggest. It's like, I look at stuff like that now. Like, even though I might be irritated for a second, but I'll be like, damn. No, this situation. 
I couldn't have, shit, what if I wasn't here to do this shit? You know what I mean? Like, that's, that, that'd be the, like, the most crazy. That's why I'm like, yo, I gotta, like, really cherish this life and just. No, it know. definitely, this situation, let me tell you this. This situation has, like, I ain't gonna say grew, grown me up, but I feel like this in the last grown me up. four, four <laughs> or five months, I have had to go through so much, like, I don't know if it's pruning but I'll have like a complaint and it's like I will constantly be in a state or uh, of checking myself in reality. It's like I'm so grateful. It, it taught me to be grateful for, like he said, the smallest things. Like think about what if you what if you couldn't use your hands? You don't you don't see the breath that you breathe every day, but you breathe it. But you're not grateful. Like, we're not, we're not, we don't think about the things like that. We don't think about, well, what if my left arm didn't work? How many problems would I have throughout that day? Like, yeah. we don't think about these things. We take them for granted. So, yeah. like, and it's like what, I live in a constant state of, like, let me check my, like, reality check myself. And that's what I was going to say, too, not to cut you off, but, like, even going to Bethany, from that, that hospital to seeing more kids. Oh, Jesus, it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. It make you really appreciate it. it and like, you dang, appreciate like, it. you know what I mean? Because think about it. I've never seen that side of- Complex medical comp issues. Yeah, like I've never seen that side. So it was shocking to me when I got to seeing it. I'm like, damn, it's this many kids that's like, you know, whether it be like their legs, they, they was mistreated, you yeah. know? Um, mm. You know, somebody accidentally, you know, you know, I don't really want to get into people's like things, it's but just it's just a like lot of things that yeah. we don't see on in our daily and it's not a reality. But when you like realize it, it's like it's so much to be grateful because, for because other people are dealing with stuff that you wouldn't even imagine. Yeah. And some of them kids like they have no control over it. Yeah. So it just like taught me ugh, this whole experience has been a lot. It's been humbling. It's been, it's, it's taught me a lot. I've grown in so many ways. And I, I was kind of upset because I like was telling God before this happened, like, you know, like, what do you want for me? What do you want me to do? Like a week before this happened. And I'm just like, I want it to be better and I want it to grow, but I didn't expect for this to happen and for it to happen this way. Is the waiting room or the OR? You're going to the waiting room. We don't get to go into the OR. You don't want to go back there. Surgery day. We going from the NG tube to the G tube. Now we was very nervous about this. We was very nervous about this, but we here. We prayed to God. Um, I really didn't feel nothing too bad. I really didn't feel nothing bad at all. So I think it's gonna be a smooth process. If, if I felt bad, I would be saying something about it. Um, I don't like the fact that it has to happen. But it's like, what else? I mean, like, eat. if y'all don't know about NG tubes, he has to freaking eat through this. He's been eating through this for how many months now, mama? Since April. Since April. It is July. April, May, July. Three months, bro. He's been in, eating through this three months. But he's looking so much better, y'all. From the first time that we saw this, he looks so much better. Look, he wiggling, spinning, spinning, and wiggling. Wiggling and spinning, 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 wiggling and spinning. Yeah, that's my dog right here. Yeah, so he gonna feel a lot better with this out. Yeah, he watching his shows. Look at this. I don't know if that's Paw Patrol. I don't know what that is. Daniel Tiger. Look, I got him smiling. Daddy, love you, man. We here, man. We already prayed. Uh, hold on, let me go this way. You said, man, we already prayed this AM. I wanted to get it on camera with y'all, man. This is a big day. Uh, this is surgery, so I've been through surgery before. You know, you they put you on that 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 medicine. But man, like you say, man, it's a big day for my ball, my dog right here, man. You ready? You ready, man? Are you ready? God is watching over you, man. God been blessing you, man. He been blessing you, man. <laughs> yep. What you got to say, mama? I'm 
I'm so tired. I'm tired. Um, I, I'm positive about the situation, but I'm very tired and um, mentally probably drained too because of it. But um, I'm excited for him to kind of get it in a sense because I want him to be happy. I want him to be free. I want him to be confident. So I'm just thankful right now. I praise in God, and I know that the surgery is going to be good. And I really have no worries, no doubts. I'm just really sleepy, but I'm gonna get some rest. See, I was nervous at first because I was like, what's the long term? You know, I'm thinking about the long term effects of this stuff and everything like that. Um, the long term effects. And then the only thing I heard was somebody was like, yo, it leaves like a scar. You know what I mean? So I just didn't want him to not be confident taking his shirt off. You know what I'm saying? When you get a little older, you know, you got to take your shirt off and put them guns up on him. But, you know, besides that, on, on serious talk, it was like somebody was like, yo, they felt like Adam in pain when they got older. Like... You know, but like, I guess if you have surgery and it get cold, like I had a meniscus surgery on my knee when I was younger, like in high school. And like when it get cold and stuff like that, like I feel it in my knee. So I'm pretty sure that's like the same thing, but I guess it will be in your stomach. But I was like, we have stomach pains all the time, but I don't know if it's like worse. Because I had, my stomach was hurting this a.m. I'm like, golly. They probably got to keep him on a good diet too. I put a lot of acids and stuff in there or... Just make yeah. sure we do our research on how to make him more comfortable. Yeah. So that's the whole thing is about making him comfortable. This is what this whole process is about right now because he got to get this thing because it's like goes into his nose all the way through his thing to his stomach. And you got to like pump it. You know what I'm saying? You got to pump it. Any little, any little like barely like touch or close like you get close to it he always flinched so it's like i yeah. hate that because he doesn't even want people around it he hates it big day for you big true you ready dog big tray for big true big day for big true daddy loves you daddy loves you can you grab it chassis he can't even grab it hold on he got to work all his brain there we go good grab yeah, good grab. And you use your thumb. The journey is still going, man. We still early on, but it's a lot of progression that's been happening. As y'all can see, y'all saw him to now. Big surge, true. Oh, big old head. Choo choo. Choo choo. You ready? Hi. Is that ready? daddy baby? Mm -hmm. Daddy baby? <laughs> That's daddy baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to get down? Further in life, you're going to go great places and don't sneeze on me, okay? <laughs> Mommy did it anyway. You so much. Mm -hmm. and I know you got this. Okay. You got it, man. Don't be fighting all those meds, okay? Don't be fighting the anesthesia. Just go to sleep. <laughs> and, and let them do the, the stuff, okay? And we're going to see you later. You're going to have this stinky thing out your nose, okay? Love you, Trisky, man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're going to see you on the other side, boy. I love you so much. We're gonna see you on the other side. Yeah, he's still kind of. Really Are we going into the waiting room or the OR? You're going to the waiting room. We don't get to go into the operating no. room. No. You don't want to go back there. <laughs> huh? He's smiling. That's a good he's thing. Smiling. You are smiling. His cheeks are flushed today. Okay, the waiting room through those double doors to the right. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, Dada. He's smiling. How you feeling, Mom? Don't ask me if I'm crying. Yeah, I'm feeling like fuck too, Allison. I ain't gonna lie, I feel nervous right now. He's smiling though, so that's a good thing. That's a good sign. I feel like he was gonna cry because we was leaving, but he a soldier. He independent, man. But she, bro, I never thought I would have been in a situation, bro, ever in my life. 
Like, I never even thought about this situation that I would ever be in in my life. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That was the worst day of my life. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nothing compared to that. Yeah, this shit's been a crazy three months, though. It's been a blessing so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's been a blessing, though, for sure. But, not going to that was the worst day, the worst, worst nightmare of any parent. Yeah, we at Dunkin' Donuts, man. Y'all know what I mean. I gotta eat on something good. Oh, I like these blueberry muffins. I look a mess. So, y'all, they gave me an update. They have this little app right here, and it's called Eve. And it has a little update, and it says, At 10.57, True is safely off to sleep without any problems. Should I get it? We got reactions. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. What did it say? Cover it up a little bit so you don't have to feel bad. I love you. Now we're gonna be so mad. Oh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts a little bit. A lot of bit. That's ow. It's owie. But you don't have that thing in your nose anymore. He's just whining. <laughs> No more, no more, no more. I know, I'm sorry, I made you mad. True. It's okay. Unfortunately, the more mad you get, the more you bleed. Okay, that's it, no more, okay? No more. Just tape. Mommy can touch it. Right, true. And they're at the ambulance and shrimps, right? Okay. Finally got up, man. Soldier right here. Man, your journey has been so inspirational, true, man. Definitely one of God's toughest soldiers. About to get strong. I thought he was not going to like the chair. First thing we're going to do is thank the creator, man, for allowing you to go through that uh, successfully, man. He here with us. All that praying mama do, all that praying daddy do. Thank God. Yes, sir. Did that go all right? Yeah. Thank God, you know. Yeah, that isn't the norm for usually stuff like this. It's yeah. usually a complication or two. Or it ends up taking all day long instead of half a day. Yeah. It only, it only took them about 15 minutes. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, that was amazing. That's what we said. We prayed for them hands, though. Them hands yeah, that was in exactly, there. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to go back. Build it out, man. Yeah, I know. Going into the green room. This is a nice aesthetic right here, Dominique. See what I'm saying? Oh. Man, look at me. 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 Look at
She's looking so good today. And look at that. Look at mom. Look at that. Pretty. Are you ready? He knew it was coming. He knows. He'll cry when it's time to pass it. He just go crazy, don't he? <laughs> True is. Of it. I yeah. see it in his vicinity, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> it all over your face, true. Oh my goodness. You are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> there you talking now. He said no. Float. Hey, you gotta stay calm for just a minute. <laughs> Keep going. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Such a smile. Wait, your Apple Watch can go in the water? Uh huh, it's pulled over. Oh, I didn't know that. There's I don't no ever wear my vacation. <laughs> I get mine in the pool all the time. Careful. Wow. It's a good investment, I guess. Okay, I'm short. Yeah. He's talking about, ah! <laughs> 
Dip his face in the water. Oh. Randomly just dip his face in the water. I'm just like, you are scaring me. One, two. Look at his hair. His hair looks good. Like, I got a wave. <laughs> You're so strong with those legs. True. <laughs> You're getting your whole face wet. <laughs> and he's loving it. He's like, second. let me just do it. He wants to. Dang. I know. I'm trying to get away. Yeah, Drew want to flow. He want to go do it himself. I know, like it. Are you going to do your little one cry? Yeah, kind of on his tummy. Tell him nothing. There we go. You were doing something for sure there, aren't you? There, can you do that? Put your arm down. There we go. Okay, I can do it. You can relax. He's just like chill. He's like a fish. Look at his hair. <laughs> there, there you are. Yeah, I know it's hard work, but look, you kick you. those feet. You can splash too. You can kick those feet. Stop trying to do that one. There you go. You kick, kick, kick. Good kick job. Out. Yeah, kick, kick, kick. kick, kick, kick. There we go. <laughs> 